Hello everyone, welcome to 3D Worldwide. Today I'm going to show you how to create a mug using a line and a lathe modifier. Let's get started. Click anywhere in the front viewport, then Alt W on the keyboard. To the command panel, click on shapes, then line. We're going to start to create our line right in the center of the our screen. Click Hold the shift key down and drag the line to the side. Click again and we'll drag the line up. Click again to the side and down to the bottom. Click again and right back to the beginning. We're just going to draw the shape of half of our mug. Let's position it to the modify button. Click on the small plus sign beside line and select vertex. With the Move tool, we'll adjust the height, the length, make sure the lines are perfectly straight, then we'll go over and select the fillet. Let's click on the corner vertex. This will round the edges. Just drag the, the vertex up. Notice how the original vertex has disappeared and we have two vertices in its place. Let's repeat the operation to the vertex underneath. The top. Let's go back and turn off the fillet the modifier list and select lathe. We'll make a few adjustments. Enable weld core, flip normals, segments set to 18, direction click on Y and align click on min. Now we have our basic shape for the mug. We'll need to add an edit poly to start creating the handle so we'll go back to the modify list Select Edit Poly, then in the subdivision, choose Edge. With the mouse, drag along all the center edges, then we'll scroll down, find Connect, and click on the small settings button right beside the name, and insert 5, then OK. Choose Polygons. And we're going to click on the center polygon in the second row. We're going to hold the control key down and click on the third one down again. Right there. Over to the panel. Click on the small settings box right beside the word insert. And we're going to insert one, then OK over to the scale tool and we're going to scale down just on the y-axis. Okay, Let's go to the perspective viewpoint. To the top left hand corner click on the word front. From the drop, drop down menu pick perspective. Now we're in the perspective viewport. Let's go and click on wireframe then smooth highlights. Go back and click on edged faces. We can also do this by clicking on F3 and F4 on the keyboard. Now let's start to create the handle. Click on the polygon that we adjusted before. Over to the panel, find Hinge from Edge and click on the small settings box. First of all we're going to pick the hinge. Click on the middle edge the edge that is in between the two polygons that we adjusted before. In Segments, insert 7 and then under Angle, 160. Here we are. Let's orbit around. How is that? We don't want the handle to actually touch the mug. We're going to join it now using the bridge. 
Let's rotate around. Let's tilt it. Zoom in as close as we can so we can see the two polygons that we're wanting to join together. Okay, back over to the panel. This time we're going to click on the word bridge. Back to the polygon, click on it. Notice here there's like a long thin cord that's coming from the polygon that we just clicked on. Click on that next polygon that we're wanting to join it to. Here we are. Now it's bridge the two polygons together. How's that? We can smoothen all our edges by adding a Turbo Smooth modifier. Let's go to our list, scroll down, and we can change the itinerations to two. Let's render. All we need to do now is to add some materials, but we'll do that in another lesson. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy.